Hi there, Leos. This is Kim, here to do your reading for your next 48 hours. And we're going to start with the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle to get some messages for you. Always calling in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power. I am offering private readings for donations still. Check out the box below if you are interested in that information. All you have to do is donate to any kind of donation to the PayPal. Send me an email and I will send you a recorded reading. So that's how I do it right now. I probably will change things up, I'm trying to change things up. It's just taking a while. Eventually, that's what I'm trying to say. Can I get my words out? All right, Leos, what do we have? What do we have? Whoa, nourishment, okay. Need to focus on what you're putting into your body. 17, nourishment. You're being asked to take time out for self-care. Really important, it's, it's talking about the things that you put in your body and what you're allowing to influence your cells on the very cellular level, how things affect you, how you feel. Water, making sure you're getting enough water vitamin D, all kinds of vitamins, vitamin C, make sure you're eating fruits. So be really careful um, about what you're putting in your body when you see that card coming up. Okay, so then we have old soul. You are an old soul. If you're interested in like um, knowing about old soul information, um, a really person, a person who I trust, I like to listen to them about old souls is a channeler called Cryon probably heard of him it's k-r-y-o-n it's a it's a very good channeler and he channels a lot of messages regarding the old soul that's pretty interesting to hear so it says you have lived many lifetimes and you've gained wisdom beyond your years old soul core values follow your heart and make your values a priority yes when we're not following our heart we're living in fear we're living in fear from the what up, what ifs. We're living in fear from expectations, judgment of others, opinions, things that aren't real. So what is real is following your heart and what you feel that is real. 59, positive life changes. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust the process. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to tr trust this process. So this looks really good. This looks good, Leos. This looks good. Let's go to the, um, I'm going to grab something from the Spirit Animal Oracle now. I'm doing a few Oracle, and then I'm going to get into your tarot. I promise I'll eventually get into your tarot. Mm, for Leos. What do you have for our Leo Spirit? Spirit Angel, Spirit Guides. What do we have? We have a lot of cards that just flew out. I will take them all, though. Um, we have Lizard Spirit. Dream the world into being. Dream the world into being. So there's a need to visualize. It looks like the Two of Wands, too, here with those two, um, those two like leaves there. Dream the world into being. Lizard Spirit. Oh, I love the Squirrel Spirit. Okay, the squirrel spirit's next. And, and you know what this is actually telling me? That some of you all have a big, like, vitamin D deficiency issue. So some of you all, not all of you all, but I'm feeling like you need to either lay out in the sun or that there's something, there's a message about getting sun. So if you've been, like, really tired during your day, if you have to, like, if you feel like you're fatigued all the time and, and you haven't checked up on your vitamin D levels, and it might be, it might be that might be i'm not a doctor but just saying uh squirrel spirit believe in yourself and the acorn is usually associated with like wealth prosperity um the squirrel he squirrels away money in my mind like this is gonna be a metaphor for us squirreling away our resources and our money so you know you ever see them with their cheeks full of nuts and stuff? <laughs> it's so cute. So I feel like that's what we're supposed to do is do everything you can to grab a hold of your resources here. There is a need to see the big picture of things. 
I'm not so sure that that's being seen right now. Um, but there's a feeling of the hope for understanding coming. That it's so like hopeful for understanding. Hopeful to understand. All right. So, so yeah, we've got that. I'm going to put this up here. Here. There we go. So you can see them all, right? You can see the little lizard spirit and yeah. Okay, good. All right. This is a deck that I always forget the name. So let me look it up. The Oracle of Genetic Gifts. Discover your spiritual inheritance and life purpose. That's what this is. So I'm going to get something from this for Leo's. For Leo's maternal side. There's something, um, spiritual gifts and wisdom and inheritance by your mother's line. Something about the spiritual gifts from your mother's line. That's interesting. That's all I'm getting. Oh, Okay. Oh, okay. And your soul number. Your soul number is the direction that your heart wants you to go in. Um, it, it says it's the numerical symbol for what your heart desires, your soul number. You can calculate your soul number. You just go Google it, how to calculate your soul number based on your you know, birth date, and you can find it. For somebody, there's youth director on the bottom, working well with other uh, children and things like that. Spiritual support, educate, lead by example, and volunteer. So your soul number and something, something gifted to you from your mother's side. Okay. Angel number, angel numbers. Then we're going to get, I'm really going to get into your tarot now. <laughs> uh, whoa, 33. That's a good number. Master number 33. I am expanding any positive changes or projections that you're considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened as you are expanding. You are expanding. All right. So now, now Leos, we go into your tarot spread and let's see what your tarot spread has to say. I keep looking at that giraffe spirit. Yeah, well, or that giraffe spirit is looking at me. Those long eyelashes. <laughs> They're so pretty. Giraffe spirit. See the big picture. Believe in yourself. Dream the world into being. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. So. Poor Leo. What's their situation? Tarot, tell us what is Leo's situation? The moon in the reverse. Okay, so yeah, I, I immediately it's like you're seeing things clearly. You're seeing things, something clearly, seeing something for how it is. Um, I'm also taking this as uh, to be expecting um, hidden blessings, to be expecting hidden blessings, expect a new perspective as something is revealed to you. The blessings the moon hid, hid will be uh, revealed. The blessings the moon hid will be revealed. Okay, there's a need to trust in your intuition too, especially if it's here in the reverse. So what's the challenge? Of course we can have Pisces, right, too. The challenge is keeping your head clear, <laughs> keeping your mind clear, like the Seven of Cups is, well, many options could be many blessings or many for unforeseen things coming. I, I feel like this really has to do with how your um, mind is working and keeping it clear. Uh, watching what you put in your body with the nourishment so that you don't get influenced in a not so good way. Page of Cups is um, underneath everything. So it's like a new you. It's like, it's, that's what it's feeling like is a new you. At the heart of the matter, at the root of everything is this page of cups, this desire to do something just completely new, completely new. It's like a reveal, new self, revealing new self. Keep your head clear. Keep your mind clear. <laughs> Those are the messages. Past energy is 
past energy, King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> seven, seven, spiritual, right? And that's very close to being into flow. So I feel like you're getting into flow. The King of Swords is about control, control, right? So I feel like gaining back control in your life by the seeds that you're sowing, like by what you have planted in the past. So something that you have either started or you started to nurture and grow is helping you get control over the circumstances in your life right now at this time. Of course, you could have a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here in the past. This could be about dealing with authority too and having to kind of wait um, for, I don't know, choices, decisions to be made, things like that. So that, that's a side note because it can also mean that. <clears throat> the present situation. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. It's not really in the reverse. I feel like it's just not completely here yet. I feel like you're on your way. This is the new you. Long The new you is going to lead to long-lasting happiness with prosperity and ability to help lots of people, not just yourself here with um, finances. I mean, it just, it clearly looks like this is about family legacy. This is about finances. This is about stability. This is something long-term. So whatever you're dealing with right now, if it's something where you're like, I don't know if this is going to go anywhere, I feel like it is um, because of these. Wow, this is nice. Near future energy. Near future energy. All right. What is your heart? Does it, okay, so I see this as being the three of swords. I feel like since it landed on the soul number, your near future, that it has to do with um, following what your heart desires. Because if you don't, you're going to end up regretting something in the near future for not following what your heart was desiring at the time. Yeah, I will get a clarification to see why this has even come up. But I feel like it has to do with your soul number and the big picture. Like having to go through some things because the big picture is, um, is leading you to this happiness and prosperity. Um, let's get something for how you feel. I don't like that. I don't like that being thrown in the mix here. But we're going we're gonna to check it. We're going to check it out. Eight of Cups. How do you feel? You feel like you don't feel like leaving your issues or leaving your problems. I feel like this is getting away from avoidance energy. You know how the avoidance energy is like, I don't, I'm going to avoid the bill collector. I'm going to avoid anything that I don't have a solution for right now because I don't want it to bother me. That's the opposite of the. This is getting away from avoidance and actually confronting the things um, that are on your mind, like confronting your issues, your challenges, head, head uh, strong, not, you know, not allowing yourself to make excuses of why you don't want to deal with something. Okay, so the situation in the outside is the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Laying the groundwork down. Laying the groundwork down. Receiving guidance. A resistance to change could slow things, okay? So the resist a resistance to change, to something changing, um, even learning new things. There may be some kind of resistance to learning something here. I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to clarify with this other tarot deck here. Some of you all could be waiting to go to, to get educated or to go to like for furthering education. Some of you all could be waiting on that. Um, I, what's weird is this is coming across as needing to focus doesn't usually come across as that to me but it is right now it's coming across as focus on the guidance that you're being given okay so the hopes and fears 
dealing with the devil, dealing with the devil, dealing with this energy that that's whatever was making your mind cloudy, unclear, or um, influencing you in any kind of way, um, shadowy, your shadow side, devil's here to say, yeah, it, it, don't fear it though, don't fear it, it's your attachments, your vices, okay, that is what we fear. I mean, it'd be appropriate for you to fear the devil, right? <laughs> because of what it stands for, but you shouldn't. The outcome. Jeez, guys, really? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. The money can't make everything right, okay? I'm not saying that. The money can't make everything right. But it sure solves a few things. It cannot change, though the heartache from the past of not following your dreams before. And I think that that is what that three of swords is. I'm pretty sure it can't make that even, you can't go back and change things like that. Uh, maybe regarding an Aquarius. All right. Okay. So the three of swords, is this about regrets? Let's see. What is the three of swords about here? The four of um, pentacles in the reverse, not receiving help or assistance sooner. Um, this is a regret. This is, yeah, the star coming out again, not listening to good advice or guidance. This is holding on to hurt. So watch out for that. It's right next to the devil. I feel like that is influencing you to hold on to feelings of sadness, like, yeah, and I, and I feel like that that is the influence. And when you get um, cloudy-headed, you're just going to keep thinking about things you should have done, could have done, or would have done. And those don't really help. That doesn't help you. So so that's what I think that is about. I don't think it's anything bad. <clears throat> I think you've got a really good reading. You got the money reading this time. Leo got the money reading. Okay, so the um, fairy dust. Fairy dust. Let's sprinkle fairy dust. We have the green, the green fairy. A cheeky green fairy on your behalf is appearing here to make you laugh. I love that. Turquoise. A turquoise color blue is uh, has healing magic and it works on you. <laughs> I love turquoise. It's a good color. Okay. We have doo -doo -doo. reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Yep. Enjoy a new lease on life. Reinvent yourself. Okay. And then difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. <sighs> Why? Why? What is it talking about here? Now, I see, I end up having to clarify at the very end on these two because I can't leave with that. But then I have joy. Forgiveness. Trusting yourself is often harder than trusting others. Don't worry if you get this wrong. The consequences will not be as bad as you think. And joy. Lighten up and find that hidden inner child and have a play date. Laugh, be silly, dance, and sing. It's time to have fun again. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not ending it yet because I want to know. Okay. Be on your guard as unforeseen perils. Okay, what's the difficult times about? The moon. Judgment. The magician. Something unforeseen from the moon. Something unforeseen. Okay. Let's get some more. So we have the magician, which is generally something I would associate with good. What What is this? Um, I want to... So about judgment. This could be like about a judgment or something like with court or authority. It can be something like that. Um... Uh, it may be you, you waiting on assistance. 
to fix things like in a family situation it can be something like that too let's see what the moon is about why is the moon here what is unforeseen needing to defend yourself and standing up for what you want queen of pentacles if you want to live the life that you want you're going to have to stand up for what you want that might be the hard times is just simply you're gonna have to stand up for what you want and i don't think that's saying that's not too bad right so tea leaves defend yourself position of authority throne position of authority wind chimes peace and harmony anything else butterfly a change for the better grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling and dragon beware of self-delusion beware of self-delusion all right so that's what I've got for you. This is um, really big. This is really good. Uh, showing good things coming. Whatever this is, we will deal with this in the, in the next few readings and find out what it was about. All right. So you light and love. Thanks, Leo.